Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this video I'm going to show you how to create this uh, tip master that I'm testing with. And here's the final product. Here's you type your restaurant bill. Let's pretend you spend $125.87 and you're going to tip 15%. And all you need to do is click calculate and you have the amount that you need to leave as a tip and we have a second button to reset it and that's all this uh, amp does it has a keyboard uh, set up for numeric uh, this is actually a decimal and this one is just numeric because there's no dot on it and very simple but will help you understand how to start building the iPhone iOS so I'm gonna go back to the project and I'm gonna start from scratch here is the final project it's very simple so I'm gonna do another one just say new and we're gonna say project and we're gonna say single view application click next and you can type your project name anything will work and you don't need this but just type something in in the organization this is optional we're just gonna use iPhone and make sure you have the storyboards and the automatic reference counting click next then just select a somewhere you want to save it and click create Okay, so this is what you have by default. There's no images for the amp icon. On this one, if we go back, we do have, and I can show you in a different video how to add the icons. But it's very simple. If you put your mouth on top of the image, it will tell you what kind of image or the dimensions you need. So you got 57 by 57 and 114 by 114 and this is the launch images they all have different dimensions so i've been using photoshop to do that section but we're going to concentrate on how to do that calculator to to check uh, uh the amount to tip on the restaurants so we're going to need two text text fields right now it doesn't matter the where they go and we're gonna see well you we're gonna put a label on top of this so you know that that's for the for the bill so this is gonna be bill amount and this guy is gonna be the percent percent to tip okay so at least you know that now we need a, a button here to calculate and another one just to clear the whole thing so it's up to you how you design the user interface so here we're gonna say uh, I'll just say go and then this one is clear oops clear And then we're gonna do another label. We're just gonna put here whatever the result. And that's it. Okay, so we're gonna put this one here. We're gonna use this one so we can get center. And that's it for how it looks. Now if you want to add an image like I did, all you need to do is, uh, for that you're going to need to add an image in the background, image view, so you can drag it out here and just expand it all the way on this guy. Now the image, 
as you can see there's an image right now I don't have anything here but to add an image you're gonna do add files to your project and uh, let me see where it is I'm gonna add I'm not sure where to go but I think it's this one try this one and now you can go I think we need to build so let's try to build okay now let's go back here I still don't see it you see that's just that's the, like a default page anyways but once you have your your uh, image set you can go to arrange arrange hmm I think I missed a step here but we're supposed to send it to back but it's not working out on this so we're gonna skip this part right now and we're just gonna do this just leave it like that just in the same okay so now we're gonna concentrate on the code not on the UI because you can figure out by yourself so now what we need to do is use this editor in the one in the middle show the assistant editor click on that one we can get rid of this one now what we need to do is click on each control I want to do control on your keyboard and just drag it out and here you have this option or this pop-up for the text box we're gonna be up it's gonna be outlet so we we'll just name it build text you can say build text field and then make sure the type is a UI text field and storage is weak and click connect now do the same thing with the percent so we're gonna say percent uh, text field and click connect now we're gonna also do with the result label we're gonna do the same thing so it's gonna be result label click connect and now for the buttons we're gonna do the same thing but in this case we're gonna do action and we're gonna say clear button type is id and the same thing for this guy so action and here we're gonna say go button ID touch up inside and sender click connect so now that we have that connection set up from our view controller this is the view controller and if you want to know where that is it's here so that's our view controller and all the fields that we just added to the view so now we're gonna go we don't need this editor anymore this assistant editor we don't need this so we're gonna go back click on this guy and now if you go to the view controller that's the code that we just added by dragging and dropping now you go to the view controller m that file and as you can see you have two actions or two methods here that we're gonna start using we're gonna connect so now what I'm gonna do real quick is just go back to our old example and so you can just copy on your side so I'm gonna go here there's nothing special about it and I'm gonna explain this for you so on the go I'm gonna type this there's some things we need to change obviously and we're gonna go back to clear I'm gonna paste this guy so basically here we're gonna say self here we're basically gonna remove all the text so we say build amount text field and our field has a property called text so we're gonna set that to nil which is nothing or no in C sharp and but here is differently so here we're gonna say percent text field 
the same thing in our label which is result we did name it result label we're also going to leave it blank so that's pretty simple now for the action yeah. now this is not it so we're going to copy and paste this so as you can see here this is a variable we're uh, starting to initialize a variable a string type and it's going to call it's, the name of it is build total and we're going to pull that text out of our text box here we're going to say we have a float uh, variable and we're going to store what's on the build total in our case is this so basically here we're just casting the text to a float that's what this line is for cast text to float then the next one is percent here we're pulling the percent from our UI same thing as above and here we're converting that text to a float and we need to divide it by a hundred so we can get the decimal on the percent just like this just like this little note right there then the last thing we need to do is find out the tip amount and what you do is you multiply your total your bill total times your percent value and then the last thing we do here is we have another result string variable and we are gonna format this string with tip amount and this is the way we just gonna add a dollar sign to it for the tip amount and then later we're gonna say to our label okay the label for that text is result which is this guy so now we're gonna hit run and see if that actually works so here it is okay as you can see this is the default keyboard now if you want to change that let me stop the debugger and come back to here we're gonna pull up the storyboard and click on the text box and if you scroll down under keyboard set it to uh, numbers we're gonna set it to numbers and I think it's the numeric pad is the other one so we're gonna we're gonna use the decimal pad and for the tip amount we're gonna set that to numeric pad so that will give you the right keyboards hit save and run now when you click build we have a decimal keyboard and under tip uh, percent we only have that a numeric when we click go as you can see it's working but the result label is kind of small so you can move that around we're gonna move it around we're gonna stretch it out and hit run again see if that is enough but you can move it around so we're gonna do this for go we got a dollar let me see if I add another this so 10 10 24 if we click clear everything's kind of out still needs a lot of work but that it's how you can start building uh, your own applications so hopefully this will help you out on starting your own um, iOS phones uh, applications and just remember that all we did was drag and drop this guys into our edge file our vcontrol edge file for these properties and under the M file we did the, the actual actions so all we did is pull from the UI the values uh, multiply it and divide it and just set the label back to whatever uh, the results are so hopefully that will conclude our video so thank you for watching